Hello, welcome to the video. Today we are making a video on cardinine <clears throat> and its impact on the skeletal system. As you can see, this is the research document that one of my research assistants drew up for me. Um, and this is the topic here. Unfortunately, there wasn't a lot of information to be found. I am, I am, um, I have directed her to find more information on this particular topic. Um, but um, as of yet, uh, we haven't. So let's just go into this bit of information. So this will be a relatively short video. Um, let's just talk about this. This is actually one of the negative impacts of cardinine on the body. Right? It is not the best impact of cardinine on the body. Uh, we will try to find out exactly how bad it is, but it seems to be from this piece of information not to be too bad. So let's read it. In general, it is known that PPAR sigma, or I for, I'm forgetting what this is called, agonists, uh, meaning those things that stimulate this receptor or bond to this receptor on the nuclear membrane, cause bone loss in vivo. So when this is activated through whatever uh, stimulus, through whatever agonist, it causes bone loss. This PPR sigma is a nuclear receptor, meaning it's a receptor on the nucleus of your cell in certain tissues. Actually, this one is throughout the body pretty much. And so when you take cardinine, that, this is what happens. The cardinine goes into the cells and it bonds to this on the nuclear membrane. And then the, the genetic transcription process uh, takes place which um, uh, which transcribes and translate a certain uh, portion of your genetic code into protein. And so this is what uh, this is how cardinine works is through this pathway. And this pathway, whenever stimulated by cardinine or something other than cardinine, causes bone loss in vivo, meaning in the body, and promotes the differentiation of mesenchymal stem cells into adipocytes at the expense of osteoblastogenesis, meaning mesenchymal stem cells uh, in the bones differentiate into adipocytes, meaning fat cells, rather than osteoblastogenesis, meaning uh, the creation of osteoblasts. Um, so these mesenchymal stem cells, of course, can differentiate into adipocytes or uh, osteoblasts. And so when you activate the PPR agonist, uh, when you, you agonize the PPR uh, uh, receptor, then adipose tissue or adipocytes are formed uh, more preferentially over osteoblasts. Um, so this is this can seem like a bad thing, um, and maybe it can be a bad thing. But when you study the rest of the effects of cardinine, um, it's not too too bad. Um, anyways, but let's move on because we're we're not going too into detail uh, in this video. We're just trying to. Oops, I don't know how to undo that. What did just happen? Okay, since it's still highlighted, I won't try to put it back in place. Let's just see what it says. Um, in vitro, bone properties in over-osterized rats while GW administration did not affect body weight, fat mass, or lean Okay, cardinine negatively affected bone properties in over uh, ovary ectomized rats. Um, so these are ovary ectomized. I'm assuming that means the, their ovaries were taken out, but let me just really make sure really quick. Ovary ectomized. Yep, basically her ovaries. These are female rats whose ovaries have been removed. Uh, in these rats, um, there is no effect in skeletal muscle, but it did have a negative effect on bone properties Again, this is rats, and it's rats, who, female rats whose ovaries have been removed. I don't know why they chose to do the experiment like this, but obviously this is not a normal rat for whatever, you know, maybe the ovaries have, uh, I, I don't know why they did this, but this is obviously not normal conditions. I don't know why what this means. Activation of PPR delta. Oh, yeah, this is delta. Uh, this is like the small delta. Activation of PPR delta by the antagonist cardinine cause impaired bone formation leading to decreased bone mineral density and deterioration. So in, in the overactomized rats, it actually uh, caused impaired bone formation leading to decreased bone mineral density and deterioration. Um, so I would definitely recommend not taking cardinine like every day, all day, all the time because of the side effect, right? Um, 
So that's the negative effect. That's the only negative effect of cardenine I've found so far. But remember one thing in general, that cardenine acts through activating the PPR sigma uh, receptor on the nuclear membrane. So basically, if you really want to understand cardenine and its mechanism action and all the things it does, you really just need to understand PPR delta, and that's what it bonds to. And when you understand what happens when this uh, nuclear receptor is agonized and this pathway is agonized, you will understand the impact of cardinine there is nothing that cardinine does other than agonize this pathway so all the downstream consequences of the agonization of this pathway is what's what cardinine does that's the impact of cardinine on the body so it's not just cardinine itself that will do this any activity that activates this like um you know endurance training and stuff will have this effect now of course cardinine is like exercise in a bottle it's super concentrated it really strongly activates this pathway so of course the downstream consequences will be super strong um, but you know at the same time you know there's so many benefits that you have to weigh the pros and cons this is a short video i will be making more in detailed videos about this as soon as my researcher comes up with more information on this so please like please subscribe please leave your questions and comments below any question and comments that you leave our our channel is small enough that at this point if you leave a question i will answer it my researcher will find the scientific answer to it and i will i will find the information and provide it for you so please like please subscribe and leave comments below. Uh, thank you. God bless. Talk to you soon. Bye.